Hello and welcome to our latest video to accompany our newsletter issue number 11. The first tip and trick we're going to look at is in Analyst Notebook and it's about importing. I've started the import off and I'm importing a spreadsheet that contains information about people and where they live and where they work. So you can see at the top a sample of the spreadsheet and at the bottom here I've already started the import off where I'm linking my people together with the addresses and I've added a couple of attributes. But the bit I want to show you is the identity and how we can set the identity and make the identity out of more than one column. So for my people, I'd like to use the first name, last name and date of birth together. Now I can build the identity by clicking over here on the identity slot and then clicking on the little three dots to the right and that will allow me then to build the identity. But I'm actually going to cancel doing that because there's a shortcut, which is what I want to show you. Instead, we can drag the columns in. I'm dragging first name in first. And then to drag in the last name, I'm going to hold the shift key down as I drag it. And then it adds last name to first name to build the identity. I'll hold the shift key down and do the same for date of birth as well. Okay. And then when I do the import, I'm just going to finish the import off now, just changing the date and time format. I'm not going to bother saving the specification on this occasion, although I normally probably would. When I bring the data in, you'll see I have indeed built my identity out of those following things. Just going to zoom in so you can see better. And then when I double click on the person, you can see the identity is indeed built out of those things. OK, now let's go and have a look at an iBase tip and trick. This is about getting data out of iBase quickly into Excel. I'm going to happen to be doing it through a query or the results of a query. So I've started the query. It's going to find people who are linked to companies as employees. And on the employee link, I've added a condition to say they're directors. Now at the moment, I'm just outputting the person. And when I go to results, it'll list my people. Now what I actually want to output is everything, just to show you how that works. I'm going to click on the Output All Items button. And now when I go to results, I get my companies and my links and my people. But then I'd like to take out this information to Excel. So I'm going to select everything, right mouse click on any of the records, and choose Show Records. And you get a tab for each of the different elements. I've got one tab for the company, one tab for the person, and the employee link has both the information about the link itself and, of course, the entities they're linked to. Now, I'd like to copy them all out. I'm going to select them all, and then down the bottom, you've got the standard Windows Copy button, which I'm now going to press. And now all this information is on the Windows clipboard, and I can paste it wherever I like. In this example, I'm going to paste it into Excel. Then I'm going to just tidy it up a little bit to make it look better. There's a few columns I probably don't need. So there we are, a quick, easy way of copying out to Excel. Now, this example is quite interesting. Because of the way the data has been added, you'll notice there's inconsistency in what's in the end one column, my entities. Sometimes it's people and sometimes it's companies. Now, that's where this quick method doesn't work so well. And what we'll see later on is there are other ways of exporting where you've got a bit more control. But if this is good enough uh, for this situation, then it's nice and quick and easy. And quite often you'll find in your database, especially if the data is being imported, the columns are more likely to be consistent. Now, if you're wondering how the labels are being generated, then I'm hoping you're aware that iBase has labeling schemes that manages that. So they're over here on the left hand side. That's what decides what the label column says. 
And then while we're over there, this is where you can also see the option to export by creating an export specification or under functions, export to Excel. Okay, I hope those have been useful for you. Thank you very much. If you'd like to subscribe to our newsletter, then please do email us on the email address shown there, info at Shortest Path Training. Or you can get more newsletters by going to our website, as you can see listed there. Or if you've got any other questions, then please get in touch. Finally, we've also got our own page on LinkedIn, where we're also publishing tips and tricks regularly. So if you're interested, if you'd like to like us on LinkedIn, then you'll get regular tips and tricks popping up there too. Thank you.